I just killed a wasp. It was under this cough, this Coke can. I moved it and it was starting to come out. I don't know if that's a good omen or a bad omen. <laughs> Barrett and I laughed for like an hour and a half last night because we were talking, because Tim kept going in and out of the back door. We were like, I hope that was Tim. What if it was the mountain cougar? A oh, mountain cougar. <laughs> <laughs> and then my phone, my phone got a text message and Barrett goes, it's the cougar. <laughs> If you're watching this, you probably already know, but my name is Weston Horn, and I play rhythm guitar, and I sing lead vocals for the band Weston Horn and the Hush. My name is Barrett Lewis, and I try to play guitar. <laughs> I attempt it. Hi, my name is Craig Seiler, and I play the baritone saxophone with Weston Horn and the Hush. I'm Steve Snyder, and I play bass. My name is Drew Thomas, and I play the tenor saxophone in Weston Horn and the Hush. Uh, my name is Nathan Harrison, and I play trumpet. My name is Matt Donaldson. I play the drums, and I'm the musical director. My name is Alex Price, and I play the trombone. My nickname is Dollar. Uh, Dollar because my last name is Price, and they also have a f some strange feeling that I'm very rich, but I'm not. My nickname is Cannonball. You know, somebody will say something that's over the line, they'll step over the line. I tend to cannonball over the line. Sledgehammer. Uh, we were out, I think we were out at Los Cabos in Owasso one time, and that he was doing the song Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. And in the middle of it, he will yell sledge, and so I started doing it a little bit louder than he did it, and I think that's kind of where it all came from. Oh, they call me Bacon. I started playing with the drummer, Matt, and he uh, decided on the nickname Bacon because he, he thought that any project that I play bass on seems to go better, just like everything goes better with Bacon kind of thing. So. Uh, my nickname in the band is Cookie, or you know, most people just call me Cook for short, but Cookie or Cook, whichever one. At, at the time, I was kind of seeing this girl, and my buddy Drew and I were talking about it, and for no reason, Weston was setting up his gear, and he turned around and was like, "Did you say, did you say Cookie Puss? What did you just say?" And I was like, "What? No, not even close." You know, and her name is not even anywhere close to that, and it was, and so it kind of became a running joke, and that kind of just stuck as my nickname for whatever reason. He just decided to start calling me that. Uh, my nickname is The Prophet. I don't know why, just like I always bowed like this when he would announce me at shows. Because he would just, he would be like, Nathan Cookie Harrison and Drew Thomas. And I'm like, hey. I, but then he started saying The Prophet. I don't know. Captain. Uh, I started working at the studio when I was working with bands and working with other musicians. Somebody called me Cap. Um, and it just kind of stuck. It's been that way for a long time. My nickname is Thunder Papa, and <laughs> I was homeschooled my entire life, and so I tried to find like a pro in not having a lot of friends, and one of the pros that I found was in that you get to give yourself your own nickname because no one else will, and so as a joke, I said that my nickname was Thunder Papa, and because it felt strong and sensual and a little bit silly. And that's everything that I am. And so <laughs> once you get it tattooed on your lower back, like it's your nickname, you know? And so that's, that's what I did. No, that's not true. I'm not true. <laughs> I like this music. I like this band because it's all kind of heart driven. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but uh, it's all real sincere. It's a group of people that are my family at this point. And like the very player is literally my family, Craig. Um, so that's been nice to have him in the band. But uh, it's right back there, actually. Um, but yeah, I guess the, I guess I would say I was why I, I said yes because I wanted a gig, but it turned into something so much more than that. Everybody on a personal level is really tight in this band. Um, we're all you know we're all slightly wired a little differently, and we all kind of accept all that. And it's 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 a it's the most awesome, hilarious family ever. And and uh, I've had my own things that I've been going through these past few years, and these guys have been. I've been right there for me, you know, if I needed anything. It's priceless. That's family. I've never heard music like this before. Like it's, it's, I don't know what it is about it, but it just grabbed me. And it's like, despite how amazing all these guys are and how amazing Weston is and everything else, it's like, 
I love the music. Like every, everything about the music is incredible to me, you know? And that's, that's what really drew me in. It's like, because everybody wants to be in a band with guys that you love hanging out with, but you know, it's like you've got that and then you've got the music that we make that we all love and it's our baby, you know? The camaraderie and the friendship that we've kind of built up over the past two years that I've been in the band is, uh, is just something special about it. It's just different, you know? And I've, I'm sure a lot of the guys, especially the older guys, have been in so many groups, you know? And each, I've heard them say multiple times that there's something different about the Hush, and there's something special about the Hush. So I think we can all feel that kind of energy, and uh, I think that's what makes the band pretty special. We're all just really excited about the new project and the new songs, and I think you can hear that when you hear the songs. I mean, I think the energy and the passion and all that stuff goes into it. And we work really hard. We practice a lot. We work on the songs a lot, you know. That's one of the reasons I'm really proud of it. So actually the first time I met all of them, they took me to Kilkenny's and it was kind of like an interview, but without any trombone playing. So that was interesting, but it's, it's because they cared about who I was and not how I played. And so just getting to know that they wanted the person, not the player, it was nice. Kind of made it feel like family. You know, Craig Seiler uh, plays Barry in the band, and he said, you know, when I have a bad day, you guys are the first guys I want to share it with. And when I have a good day, you guys are the first guys I want to share it with. That's family. I saw a documentary the other day about Jim Carrey, about when he was growing up. He used to lie in, in bed at night and think about what he could do to help the world, what he could do, what people needed. And I immediately identified and remembered doing that as a kid and as a young adult, trying to figure out what this world needed, what people wanted, so that I could be that. And I tried about a hundred different things, and this band is the first thing that I've done that I feel like has really helped people. And that has been the heart behind this band from the get-go. And this album is the first album that we've done with this group of guys that really, I think, personifies what we're trying to do. I didn't go out and, and find the best players in the world, although I've got some. I went out and I tried to find the people who shared the posture of my heart, and that was that we wanted to create music that made people happy. Um, Weston is one of the most beautiful women I've ever met in my entire life. Um, great kisser. No, I don't. <laughs> Weston is a different kind of guy. Like, he he knows what he wants to do. The, the Hush is his thing. Like that's his ride or die band, right? And it's, it is for almost all of us too. Like for me as well. So like, Weston is the big brother I always wanted. You know what I mean? He's got a lot of passion. And I think that comes through in his music, you know, doing the, the high kicks off the drum riser on stage. He's just full of energy and full of life and really sincere in what he wants to do with this band. He's a good leader. You know, he's, he very much leads from the front, as the saying goes, you know. Um, he has a very heartfelt way of speaking the truth all the time, which I really respect. He's, he's my, my brother from another mother. He is the most giving person that you can imagine. He's, he's never one to, to give something off to somebody. He always takes it for himself. And he's just sometimes to the point where it's <laughs> harmful to him, but he always takes on more and more to make other people's lives easier and happier and better, which is, I mean, it comes across on stage. It comes across when you talk to him in person. We're like, dude, Wes, you don't have to pay for everything. You really, like, we're all good on it. Like, it's fine, you know, you, it, there's no reason for that. We're a, we're a group, you know, we can help. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah. you know. It, it takes a lot for him to kind of like release that kind of that kind of hold on stuff. And he's just, he's such a nice guy, you know. So everyone loves him. Weston is actually going to marry me next month. He's going to be my uh, officiant. And that's who he is. I asked him about it and he got so excited he almost cried. And he's just ex that person that's always excited to help you out and be there for you. And be that guy for you so I don't like him 
that much. Um, he and I always call each other brothers. You know, I'm, we're always like, you're my brother, you know, and you're my best friend. And like we, he'll probably hate that I'm saying this on camera, but when we call each other, we'll be like, hey, best friend, you know. Everything that people say about Wes, they're all true. I mean, he's, he give you the shirt off his back. He really is more concerned about your feelings and about how you are and how you're doing as a person. I love that about him. He's just, he's just real. I am, to my very core, the most self-deprecating person you will ever meet. I would rather go out in that river back there and get eaten by a crocodile than accept a compliment. I don't like them. I don't know why that is, but it is. And so to say my band is special is true. And it's, it's the first time in my life that I've been able to be proud of something without any sort of negative feelings inside because I will unequivocally say this band is special. And it's maybe not for everybody, maybe not everybody will love it, maybe not a lot of people will love it, but I will say that this band is special because of, of what we do when we're on stage. People like the music on the album and it's fun to listen to, it's great, but our live show is unquestionable that we are having the best time of our life on stage. And that is infectious. I don't care what you think about the music or anything, when you see that we're having the time of our life on stage, it's really hard not to have a good time. My dear.